Over the last few years, investments in larger, growthier US-based businesses have outperformed the broader market, and investment managers with styles favoring those characteristics have accordingly enjoyed a strong run. In this video, we dive into two emerging themes that investors can't ignore, inflation and valuation differentials between the US and other markets which lead us to expect that we are now entering a more favorable investment environment for companies in different regions and with different characteristics than those that have enjoyed investment tailwinds over the last few years. First, it is important to understand a bit about the investment style of the Pangana Global Small Companies Fund in the context of these emerging themes. Investors in the fund access an actively managed and geographically diversified portfolio of approximately 50 companies that target the following four key criteria. First, each company must have a sustainable business model with pricing power and enduring competitive advantages. Secondly, we look for strong balance sheets, ensuring our companies have the ability to fund operations during periods of capital market disruption. Third, Disciplined and aligned management is essential, with strong corporate governance and a focus on compounding invested capital. And finally, the businesses we invest in must have a compelling valuation, providing downside protection to our investors. The application of these criteria positions our portfolio to benefit from these two major investment themes that we see starting to emerge. The first theme is inflation. After many years of sluggish price growth, a number of factors have contributed to the emergence of inflation expectations. Government stimulus, supply chain bottlenecks, elevated levels of household saving during lockdowns, giving consumers additional purchasing power, as well as global wage increases. Prices paid by US consumers surged in June by the most since 2008, with core inflation, excluding food and energy, having the largest advance since 1991. In Britain, Recent inflation exceeded targets and expectations, and the European Central Bank just revised their inflation target that has been in place since inception, from below 2% to 2%, with a footnote that it will tolerate overshooting to make up for previous shortfalls. History tells us that two investment styles tend to perform better during inflationary periods, value and small cap stocks. Over the last 10 years, we have seen small cap stocks outperform large caps during periods of rising inflation expectations. The second theme is valuation differentials and the European recovery. The valuation premium currently associated with investing in US equities is near its highest level since the global financial crisis. This may make sense in the context of the GDP growth differentials experienced over the last few years, but equities are forward-looking and the valuation differential is harder to accept in the context of a range of economic forecasts, most notably regional GDP and consumer growth. Looking specifically at the European market, European industrial companies, on average, did not enter the COVID-19 disruption at full capacity. 2019 GDP growth in the Euro area was already extremely low and many businesses entered the COVID era with reduced inventory in response to falling demand. Inventories then declined even further as supply chains were disrupted during the pandemic. Now, as vaccine rates increase and societies emerge from lockdown, combined with monetary stimulus and other support measures, we expect a release of pent-up demand that will create the ideal conditions for an industrial-led recovery. So what can investors do to benefit from the emergence of these themes? And how does this lead us back to the Pengana Global Small Companies Fund? As we've already touched on, the Pengana Global Small Companies Fund invests in high quality businesses with strong pricing power and favorable operating margins. It is disproportionately invested in sectors that will benefit from an increase in interest rates, as well as more reasonably valued jurisdictions, which has naturally resulted in a significant overweight to Europe a market that the fund has focused on for some time and has significant expertise. The fund is also overweight industrial businesses and other sectors that will benefit most from a consumer-led recovery. Investments in businesses like Dino Polska, the Polish grocery chain which has been held in the portfolio since July 2011. It is well poised to take advantage of the evolving economic environment or the 100-year-old ferry service between the UK and Ireland 
the Irish Continental Group, which is a more recent addition for our investors to capture the increase in activity as these two economies emerge from lockdown. If, for the reasons described above, investments in high-quality, reasonably priced companies with economic tailwinds are rewarded, investors in the Pangana Global Small Companies Funds are likely to reap these rewards. Invest online or learn more about the Pangana Global Small Companies Fund at www.pangana.com.